Welcome to Say It's Lit, the one and only podcast embracing queer narratives, where every topic is fair game. Get ready for some serious sass and juicy insights into everything queer. I'm your unfiltered host, Maticus, and I'm about to plunge into the unheard stories of the vibrant queer and ally communities. So hold on tight because we're not just breaking the silence, we're obliterating it. Ready, set, slay. Look like you love me. Let's get your whole muscle bottle in here. Okay. All right, there we go. So let's show off the gym a little bit. Let's show what you've been working on. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, guys, this is Maticus from Say It Slate. I'm here with my handsome friend. What's your name, baby? Bo Butler. Bo Butler. I'm already ready to give you the mic. I'm used to being on the streets. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of here. So, Bo, what do you do? Uh, I'm an adult film star. What's that mean? That means that I work in uh, studio porn and OnlyFans. Okay. And I create videos. I create sex videos sex videos yeah and uh, a lot of social media stuff and social media stuff what's that mean like instagram reels okay mostly um, like teasers no like little goofy oh, um, okay you know this you've seen the stupid videos well i have but the others that have a <laughs> should they should they see them should yeah, they take the time yeah it's like where like i like i take my hat off mm-hmm. and then when i go down suddenly i'm naked Oh, okay, it's a, okay. It's a transition. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Teaser videos, yeah. got it. <laughs> okay, teaser. You're, you're right, teaser. <laughs> no, I, I see the guy. You, you show your personality well. Thanks. Uh, on your social channels. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. So I'm super happy to have you here today. Thank you for coming. We're, you know, looking to, you know, share your story about, you know, what you're doing on OnlyFans, maybe some things outside of that. Um, again, as I told you before, uh, if there's anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, let me know and we'll go into it deeper. Okay. Yeah, let's do, no, it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm curious to know, like, you know, how'd you get into the business or why? So uh, I was telling you a little earlier, like, mm-hmm. I I watched a lot of porn as a kid. Yeah. Like a lot. We had a what age? Probably started at like ten, nine, okay. ten. We had a computer in our garage, and. Like nobody would go out there unless they were doing laundry mm-hmm. or on the computer. So yeah. I'd just like sit on LimeWire or like Oh yeah, I remember LimeWire. Yeah. And <laughs> the viruses, yeah. Yes, I would ruin computers <laughs> left and right. Like nobody would figure out why the computer didn't <laughs> work wrong. anymore. Yeah. And uh I would like come across these Falcon group scenes or mm-hmm. like Dawson's fifty load weekend. I don't yeah. know. Have you seen that one? I can't say I have. It's classic. Yeah, they haven't paid me to say that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Probably everybody involved in making that is dead. But, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was just like always really idolized um, that type of man. Um, so it was always gay porn, or yeah, it was always gay porn. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I if I do watch straight porn, it's the kind of straight porn where. It's multiple guys and their penises are touching. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But how'd you how'd you find your way getting to gay porn though? Getting into it, what? I uh, I got laid off from my dream job that I worked really hard for. At ten years old. Oh. Oh, how did I get into gay? Oh, I knew I liked. No, like we're watching it. Like yeah, like how'd you figure that out? Oh, I knew I liked guys. Really? Oh my god. Okay. I, would, I was so boy crazy. I would develop these like intense crushes. Mm-hmm. And just like think about them. And I had a little diary when I was eight, and I was like, "Dear diary, I'm gay." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I knew. Uh, okay, the, wow. You don't usually get that. No. So, what were you typing into the browser? You think? You're like really putting me in my my memories. No, literally, <laughs> probably like gay sex, <laughs> boner, gays having sex. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Men. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Now we're turning back to your story. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so I got laid off from my dream job that I worked really like, Mm -hmm. I started from the bottom and you know, then finally after all this time you're making like a livable wage and you pay your dues. And then, um, you know, this is like a lot of people's story. Then COVID happened. Yeah. I got laid off recently. Okay. And then I was getting paid really good money from the government Mm -hmm. in that like three month period. Um, then I had to go start back at the middle at a different company about june that year the june 2020 and it was just miserable what were you doing um i was working before i was working in behavioral health uh but i was like boots on the ground so i was like Mm -hmm. working with clients i was doing operations i was like doing the day-to-day sort of uh 
Imagine like a hotel manager, but for like a psych ward. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like a really interesting, high stress, like face to face job. Like a Hilton hotel or? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, like a Hilton. It's very nice. Okay. Like, a, like a Marriott. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, not like a Best Western. Okay. Um, then what happened? Oh, yeah. So then I had to get this other job start at the middle mm -hmm. in a company that I had like worked with my whole career too. Uh -oh. So it was like, I knew you, well, I didn't even get any special favors. Like mm -hmm. I was just like, what is this industry? I've put so much time in, yeah. um, to where, you know, all of that time was just a waste. Um, so then I, I was at black's beach. Yeah. This is like the summer of 2020. And I saw, uh, two really hot blonde guys fucking on the beach. That's crazy. You can you can fuck at the beach. Yeah, it's the best. Where's this beach? Uh, San Diego. San Diego. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to hike to get down to it. For yeah. Like Fifteen minutes. So if like a cop, you see him coming a mile. Oh, away. oh, you have to break it up. But it's yeah. not really okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not like a fuck beach. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So then, saw so these two guys fucking. There's this crowd around them. Mm -hmm. Everybody's jerking off. And I asked some guy, some guy with a cock ring. I was like, what? What is this? What's going on here? And he's like, oh, they have really successful OnlyFans accounts. And I was like, girl, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Like, why am I not one of these guys just yeah. like raking in all this money? Um, so, you know, it took me about six months to work up the balls after that. But wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I did it. My first video was with uh, my friend Teddy Bear XXX. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't, it sounds familiar. I have to look that up and they're like, oh my God, Teddy. Yeah, he's the hairiest guy <laughs> in porn. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you heard it here. So, okay, but you, that six month gap, like what was going through your mind? Like what got you there? Do you think it was just like the financial issue that pushed you into it? Or like, like what really got you up to that strength? You're like, well, I had like a really, my job was just miserable. It was yeah. um, data entry. Mm hmm. It was so I, I went from boots on the ground to uh, back end billing oh, no. in the same industry. So I was on the phone, reading data, yeah. receiving data, input data mm -hmm. over and over and over and over. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I can't do this. Yeah. yeah. So, you're, so you're probably not a good listener. <laughs> well, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> not anymore. Probably, you, you're probably right. I could write it down. I don't know what you said. <laughs> the writing it down, I fucking hate it, actually. I hate Excel spreadsheets. Yeah. That was the part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if somebody could be, like, dictating it for me, that would have been yeah. different. But. Well, that would have defeated the purpose of the role, right? True. <laughs> like, someone's got to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I got that. So so you were still working, and then you, you decided to, like, start an OnlyFans or a Twitter, or what happened first? Yeah, so, uh, well, what happened first was I... I was going to see first if I needed some confirmation that I was going to be good at it. Mm -hmm. um, and I had never had social media of any kind. Like I deleted my um, Facebook in 2011 and then I didn't yeah. have social media. So I like made a, made a Instagram and then this like world of like Insta gaze. I was like, okay, all right. Yeah. And like, I sort of just like, observed what I was seeing and tried to figure out if I could fit into it. Yeah. You know, you did. I, did it. I did it. Yeah. So did it really good. I, you know what? It was crazy. Yeah. I, I did one photo shoot and mm -hmm. I was like, all right, let's see what the response is. And yeah. The response was really good. Did you have people helping you out though? Like in all realness? No, no not a single person. Really? No, that's crazy. No, it's, it's been, it's been me from the jump. Did you like, you tell me if this is too personal, but did you initially ask people to help you? And like, they were like, no, or are you like afraid or too independent? So what, what type of help do you mean? Someone to promote your, your account. Like, Hey, I'd start a new Instagram, like follow my friend. Um, you know, just giving, like putting you out there. Well, so the, the name of the game yeah. is like collaborating. Yep. So I knew that I would have to, yeah, there were a couple people that I did ask to do that. Gotcha. And they were just like rude. So yeah. I was like, okay, what's the, you know, what's, how are, how'd those people get big? And it's because they're working with people bigger than them mm -hmm. and posting. Because people, people help them. <laughs> well, but be, it's a trade off. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, um, it's transactional. Mm -hmm. I have to give you a product. Yeah. Very true. You know? So is that where you got to? So you did your, um, your collaboration with, with Teddy? Teddy. Yeah. yeah. Teddy was, he still is. He was like 
really big on Instagram at the time. He still is mm -hmm. and really big um, on Twitter, mm -hmm. which is like still like early ish pandemic. All these people that have like a million plus accounts, it was huge to have like a two hundred thousand dollar or a, no, a two hundred thousand <laughs> person account. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So that was like whoa. Yeah, yeah, it was deal. crazy numbers. Um, yeah, so he was my first, and then I just sort of kept going. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, were you guys friends before? So he actually reached out to me after that first photo shoot because he oh. had shot with that photographer before. Oh, cool. Then he was like, oh, I really like your pictures, da, 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 da. And then, oh, thanks. And we were just chatting back and forth. And I was asking him how he, like, t asking him about OnlyFans and how it's going for him and what's it like. And um, he made it sound really appealing. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah which it, it, it is really appealing. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, that's what I hear. That's yeah. what I hear. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. Um, you guys are doing much better at it. Um, that's crazy. So, how did so you just came into like this like new like let's say insta fame right how do you find you know teddy's message what do you mean like did you get like an inbound like a lot of messages oh or, it wasn't like, that it wasn't was that it, it wasn't that many messages it mm -hmm. was like you know at the time i was like wow this post got 1800 likes yeah you know mm -hmm. but still to put it into scale like they're getting like you know, sometimes they get 30,000 likes. Well, someone has just started, yeah. Yeah, so when you just start, yeah. 1,800 likes, I was like, damn. So I wasn't getting that many messages. Mm -hmm. His stood out because, yeah. you know, it was like, oh, like. He bought verification? Yeah, well, probably. <laughs> probably. As well, his, his uh, legal name is not Teddy, so yeah. I don't think so. I don't know how to beat that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that sucks. I know. Oh, what a sad life. I know. Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. So you 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 guys are buddies now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you th like do you think like he's the one that influenced you or who's your influence? So those two guys fucking on the beach were yeah. Logan Stevens and Morgan Thick. Okay. Yeah. So and they were it. Like, they were I, yeah. Yeah, at, at, yeah. They definitely. So I was like blown away by them. So yeah, those three people were who influenced me to like have you worked with the other two? Oh yeah oh wow yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, morgan's one of my friends i'll make it happen <laughs> yeah you know, like these are all my friends now which that's is kind of awesome. crazy yeah yeah you're like i saw you on the beach do they know that do yeah. you tell them yeah okay yeah, yeah. okay like stories out right yeah <laughs> this is where it actually happened so they're your favorite porn star um so have you ever achieved any like additional education out, outside of um, like a GED or a uh, diploma? Yeah, so I have an associate's degree. I was in community college for five years. Mm -hmm. I kept changing my major. Yeah. And then I got really deep into drugs. Yeah. So once it was time to like transfer to a um, four year and just finish that out, mm -hmm. I was like, so I had to get sober. Yeah. Yeah. So you're in recovery now? Yeah. How, mm -hmm. how long? Uh, I'll have seven years in February. Seven years. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Do you keep up with the coins? Do you go at all? Yeah. Of okay. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. That's a big deal. I've been to a couple of those like sessions with my, my friends and they're, they're really interesting. Yeah. Great, great people. Yeah. My sponsor's a little mad at me though. Cause I haven't been calling as much. You haven't been a good boy. I have not been a good yeah. boy. I like yeah, you, traveling a lot. You keep him balanced too though. You yeah. remember that. Yeah. 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 It's gotta, you gotta be fair. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to move on to personal insight side. Um, so you, you said you're like 10 years old. You're looking at like gay porn. Like mm -hmm. you didn't even try looking at like female porn. You're like, nah. I mean, I did. But then again, it was like I would lean towards the ones okay. with more guys in the video. Yeah. How, how old do you think you were when you like knew you were gay? You said you wrote it when you were eight. I definitively journal. accepted it at like eight years old. How, when did you come out? Uh, like 13, 14. Really? Yeah. To your whole family? Like intimate family? Well, so this was early MySpace days. Oh, so you came out on MySpace? Or I, did MySpace out you? My, well, so I came out on MySpace and then MySpace outed me to oh my, my family. Yeah. yeah. That was a big deal back then. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was. <laughs> but it was like, I just remember thinking like, if I'm going to... My whole life, it's always mm -hmm. been about like finding my Prince Charming. Yeah. It's like if I'm gonna find that guy, like I have to put myself out there. I can't. <laughs> I can't not be who I am. I love that. Yeah. So. Oh, that's such a little love story. <laughs> so, how'd your family take it? 
Uh, so they were like kind of like just like blindsided at first because yeah. can you imagine getting like a phone call from some random guy that you know mm -hmm. and his son told him yeah that you know their your son is like saying well this was I was saying I was by because that's how you, yeah so you start that's how everybody yeah you gotta dip your toe sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then ditch that after a while but yeah so. They were like, what is this? Is this real? Is this true? And then like me having like, I've worked really hard on my emotional regulation skills. So yeah. back then I didn't have any. So it was just like, F how could you <laughs> fuck you guys? Like, so then they're like, okay, we've got to rein it in. Like, and mm -hmm. console him now and let him yeah. know it's okay. Because, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 It was great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's three, you guys are all good now. Are you close with your family? Yeah. Um, you said you're close with your mom. My mom's the best. Yeah. My mom's my biggest fan. She, my mom, uh, in her lifetime, made a lot of money from. She's like, didn't graduate high school, anything yeah. like that. And she has like, um, she's made a lot of money. Yeah. And she's been smart about it and has like a lot of uh, assets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So she values like an entrepreneurial mindset. Yeah. And hard work and stuff. And like, um, so she just, thinks what I'm doing is really cool because I'm, I'm doing well at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So she, that's awesome. It's so awesome that your mom is involved and I'm appreciative that it's very rare. I know. Especially in our community. I know. You know, and I, I envy everybody that has moms. <laughs> I won the most accomplished international porn star at the um, European Grabbies and my mom did a screenshot of my story and posted it as a post on her Instagram. Aww. I was like, that's so sweet. But like, I didn't need <laughs> fucking my 80 year old aunt Cindy knowing I'm a porn star. They know like, now. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, that's, that's great though. You got yeah. mom's love. That's all that matters. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So let's see here. Um, well, some of these questions you get to skip because you have such a good family. That's oh, awesome. cool. Yeah. Look at that. Like, just cross it out. Cross okay. it out. All right, switch to the other next card. <laughs> All right, so let's sw switch to the professional side. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're thinking OnlyFans or maybe, you know, Twitter or anywhere that people can reach out to you. What's the craziest request that you've gotten? You really want to know? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to beat the one from earlier. Oh, damn. Uh, craziest request. There's this guy that asks that people, like, use, like, a, um, a, like a douche. Yeah. But like with air, yeah. just fill up your butt with air and push it out. Oh, and like video it or what? Yeah, and camera it. Okay, what was it, his offer? I don't remember because okay. I was just like, no. Just can't do it. Because there's a guy like that's successful on OnlyFans that yeah. has a video of him shitting, circulating on oh, Twitter. and it ruined him. I don't know, I don't think, I don't know it's if it ruined him, but like yeah. I would die. So... Yeah. You could, you could be like that guy that did like the the nair on his ass like when we were all not ready for it. Do you know the video I'm talking about? Oh, uh, on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, could yeah. he? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> all right, everybody, and it's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> oh god, I was so scared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no, that's actually close to the other one, but yeah, no, that, that's it. They wanted you to fart. Pretty yeah, much. basically. Yeah, they're trying to force and part. Like, they could just put you in a child's pose. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, but like, I'm, I'm, my boyfriends don't even see that. Like, as yeah. if. Wait, boyfriends too? Oh, well, like, uh, through the oh, age. Oh, through the age. Oh, okay, yes. okay. So that's everything you could see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I, I agree. Uh, when, when do you think it's like the appropriate time to like be able to go to like number two at your, like, someone's house you're dating? Well, fate decides that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's never the right time. I don't know. Uh, just one day. I have an easy stomach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's never right, but sometimes it's just like, what am I going to do? Dig a hole outside? Yeah. Like, we got to do this. I'm a top, though. I think I care less. Yes. You know, you're probably yes. are more, like, scared. Tops love the fart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but, like, Yes, yeah. you do. No, no. The only feel like when it's funny. <laughs> it's not funny with the bottom of the set dog. You're a top with a huge dick. That's rude. I am. You're welcome. <laughs> and and yeah. <laughs> how's that rude? That's great. That's uh, rude. Like, my boyfriend loves it. Okay, yeah, well, it's good. Yeah. You gotta just find size queens. Yeah. I would be like. I don't okay, have well, any trouble. That's true. This <laughs> is perfect. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> So, all right, so how do you, you know, prep for a shoot 
Let me wait, wait for this car. Goodbye. We were in the we're in a bad neighborhood in yeah, Hollywood, guys. I Those avoid are... sunset like the plague, dude. I hate Sunset Boulevard. I hate it. <laughs> he stole another car. All right, so <laughs> one more time. So, do you ever get performance anxiety? Like, what's your like your routine to prep for a shoot? Are we talking about prepping emotionally, physically? It's an open-ended question. You could choose mm -hmm. how to answer it. If you want to talk about how you're cleaning out your dude wipes, you go there. But I, I think I'm more like interested mentally. Mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I bottle up all of these resentments, <laughs> and then I just wake up really early and show up to set. <laughs> that makes you horny. <laughs> yeah. No, totally. Yeah. What? I just accumulate. You, like take it out on me or something. Like. Yeah. No. It's mostly the crew. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. There's, like, you guys have fluffers? <laughs> there's no fucking way to prepare for a studio porn show. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, I tell people it's like modeling yeah. because it's um, really the focus is do I look good at this angle? Mm -hmm. do I, does my body look good doing what I'm doing right now? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, while still being in the moment, uh, it's like a, a studio porn kind of a superstar mm -hmm. type can make you think they have chemistry with just about anybody you put them with. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I get that. How do you guys deal with people that like you don't have chemistry with? And you're like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like a bottom, it's a little easier. True. Yeah. Unless they're like, just no, they're just not good. Do you, do you get like the info in advance? Like who you're shooting with? And yeah, like no, I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, definitely. Sometimes, yeah. They, sometimes some studios try to be like weird about it and tell you last minute. Yeah, um, they say it's to like it's like a HIPAA thing, like uh, which is <laughs> yeah, yeah medical. Yeah, yeah because <laughs> if 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 suddenly that you have to change partners, mm -hmm. you know why, kind of a thing. But um, so they'll tell you after everybody clears the test, which is usually like days before. Right. Right. So, uh, but yeah, no, this, the studio that I work with, I'm, I'm exclusive with mm -hmm. Falcon. I have been like since the third month I started porn. Okay. They'll tell you in advance. Okay. And do you, yeah. do you get penalized for like declining someone? Uh, no, but, it's, um, upon. it's not even like frowned upon. It's like, yeah. imagine just working with only gay dudes and already everybody is just so bothered. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, uh, I'll do it. God, of they don't want to do it. Uh, fine. I have to find somebody else. And it's like, gosh, everybody's just so bothered. Mm -hmm. So you know, you're going to bother six people if you say no. Yeah. So you said you are with, what's the name of your company? Falcon. With Falcon. So you're with Falcon and you're in a relationship, right? Yeah. And you're, you're closed, right? Yeah. Right. So it sounds like you're only hooking up with people within the industry. Yeah. So that it'd almost, it'd be really hard to find a replacement predictor maybe right because you have to be tested and ready to go yeah no it's like yeah yeah it's like a big put out it can be like grinder like show up it's not like sketchy sex or something yeah totally and yeah. it's already really i just produced something and it's like not easy mm -hmm. casting yeah you know because you deal with a lot of like um back and forth yeah of like well what's this what does it pay what day you know like oh and then so it's it's really not easy so i i like even if I yeah. don't have chemistry with somebody and I, unless I like fucking hate them, which has <laughs> only been like once, I won't say anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I hope they're a guest star. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally. You cannot sign him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I would be so sad if someone's like, no, I can't do that one. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'd be devastated. Yeah. So I would never like do that to anybody either, yeah. you know? But so, but I've heard that it's happened. I mean, it has happened. Like we, you can't get, you know, like the top can't stay hard or maintain erection or get hard at all. Like, do they, do they still use like what, what the like industry calls fluffers or, you know, like, um, trazodone, not trazodone, let's go to sleep. <laughs> 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 What's the direction called? Um, Trimex. Trimex, Trimex, yeah, Trimex, not trazodone. Yeah, a, a Trimex, yeah. 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 And most people do. Well, it gives me so much energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. can't do anything. Yeah. Most, most people use Trimex. <laughs> Um, so it's not even really like that anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're not using Trimix, you're like, you just take Cialis. I don't know. Yeah. A, lo a lot of people just take Cialis on a regular basis. So boners aren't really like a huge issue. What about um, for a bottom? Like, do they require you to be hard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
D different studios uh, are different, but Falcon is like the really kind of like classic gay porn. Yeah. So it's like Tom of Finland drawing, like everybody's hard, everybody's buff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. 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 yeah, I'll give it a watch. Yeah, please. <laughs> I'll support, support you guys. Okay, that's funny. All um, right. Um, okay, so for our industry challenges, have you ever been uh, you know affected negatively by stigma? Some people put on you know porn creators, uh, such as like it's a sin, it's dirty, or that actors have no morals. I mean, yeah. Uh, like, I kind of feel like we deal with that from OnlyFans, the company. Yeah. They don't, they did not want us on there mm -hmm. and they are not helpful or grateful, you know, when something happens yeah. on the back end or, so you kind of get the feeling that they could care if you, <laughs> they, they couldn't care less about you. They do now. Do you think yeah. They almost, remember they try to get everyone off. Right. They try yeah. to get, every, yeah, they try to get everybody off. And then if you have something like, and like same with Instagram, like, mm -hmm. you know, Instagram does not want us on there. Right. You know, and yeah. there are, are groups of people targeting us, religious groups, and Instagram is like yeah, I know. with them. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I I feel it on like a meta level, but I keep mm -hmm. my I keep my world really small, mm -hmm. you know, to people I just want to hang out with, and it's usually just gay dudes and yeah. gay dudes don't really care. Wasn't it you that lost your account? Oh, yeah, I've lost a couple. Yeah? How, how did that impact you? Uh, at the time, I was fucking freaked out, devastated. Yeah. But it was a blessing because um, that old account was growing at such a slow rate because yeah. it had been, like, flagged. Mm -hmm. And then so it was just never going to grow. So when it was finally deleted yeah. and I started the Start new over. one, it was, like, growing way quicker, quicker. But I'm having that issue right now where they have, like, a list of all of my content saying it, it can't be recommended. Yep. And it's not. It's, like, just me in underwear, yeah. which does not violate their policy. Yeah. So I'm waiting for a review. Yeah. Even this interview gets flagged. I got the same problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I know, and it's, it's, um, it doesn't happen to straight people. Yeah, no. It just doesn't. Yeah. So, and there's nobody protecting us or looking after us. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, um, the Free Speech Coalition, which is, like, a porn group that's supposed mm -hmm. to, like, protect us. But, you know... I mean, yeah, it'd be cool if like we could figure out a way to like <laughs> fight for ourselves. That, that would be nice. I know there's like these groups that are international. They're like, oh, I'll help you get verified or help you like get your organic followers, blah blah blah. Yeah, and those people lose a lot of money over that. Oh yeah, because you know? they they are embedded in <clears throat> Meta, you know, yeah. and they they will you'll lose your account, you know, and then they hold it hostage. Yeah, and it's crazy, it's you know, like how hard you know people want to grow. And it's just so unfortunate. But so you said, so you lost your account. I, I understand I was going slowly, but like, were you not like, just like, you didn't feel like your world was falling apart? Like what, what was your income? I was or? besides myself. I was beside yeah. myself. Yeah. Luckily I had a really big Twitter following at that time. Uh, too. Okay. Okay. So multiple networks guys yeah. never depend on one. <laughs> yeah, no, never always have a bunch of irons in the fire. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, and then my about a year and a half ago, my, uh, TikTok was deleted at 70,000 mm. and this new one isn't growing at all. So yeah. I've kind of just given up on it. I mean, they really don't want us on there yep. at yep. all. Yeah. Yeah. But mine, pl mine just plateaued too, since I've done like more adult stuff. Yep. Yeah. It sucks. I was like, damn, I'm skyrocketing. I but yeah, it's, yeah. But I think Instagram is a little bit more lenient. TikTok is very aggressive. It's so weird because Instagram is lenient and then suddenly yeah. They're not like I imagine, like in Harry Potter, like Dolores Umbridge steps in. Do you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. there's some like crazy Christian woman in there that like sticks her business in mm -hmm. suddenly. That's all I can figure. Yeah, no, it's it really does suck. Yeah, but it's good to hear I, that you definitely came back on top better than what I was expecting in your answer because I would die, you know. And yeah. most other people would too. It's just one of those things where you're like, luckily, I have a lot of friends that have been doing this a long time yeah. so my friend trenton who's been a porn star for like 13 years was mm -hmm. like oh yeah mine's been deleted four or five times yeah it, it'll, it'll come back <laughs> like literally he, uh, and yeah. i just heard that in my head mm -hmm. uh, it'll come back yeah and just sort of like wow put one foot in front of the other well you're strong i got banned from twitter the first time and it took me like two and a half years to get back on there because they track your, your ip your wife all your shit you know i think tiktok does that too do they i haven't been banned from them yet so yeah, i don't be know careful i think that's why my new yeah. one isn't growing at all mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, w- I would create a new one. And it would like ban me immediately. I'm like, damn it. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. How does so? How, so you're working with a studio and you're working independently. How how does that work? Does the studio take a cut of your OnlyFans? No. Do they promote your OnlyFans? No. Um. No. Right now they kind of are because mm-hmm. I am. Uh, I'm producing for the studio, but under the like. Um, as me Mm -hmm. so that content that i produce for the studio i can use on my only fans after a certain amount of time so right now they're producing me or they're promoting me as a content producer which is nice but uh no from when i started it was very clear that like they mean they mean professional yeah like so i can't like do a scene for men.com or yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) so yeah. yeah Okay, so I, I mean, I feel like that's kind of new since COVID. So like, but yeah. you, you started after that because like, like they were very against it at first. Yeah. And now other people I know that work in the industry, like the, uh, they take a portion, you know, like, well, if it's like referred through their site. So say that like they bought oh. it through your site, they're going to take that referral fee. Oh. You know, do, they don't do that to you? No, but that sounds great. Not for you. <laughs> well, but if it's yeah. like, a, um, that's like a, like affiliate right program kind yes. of thing it yes. would be nice to have an affiliate yeah. people promoting me and taking little cuts of mm-hmm. that's smart well yeah i think it's good for the people that are doing it because they get protected by them too you know mm-hmm. because now they're they, they recognize that content mm-hmm. so i think it's pretty cool but the cut's like 50 50 it's pretty high that's crazy <laughs> yeah that's no <laughs> it's insane that's what i'm saying you're like that'd be great no no, no it's like a 30 70 max <laughs> So, um, have you have you ever gotten anything special just because of like your status of being like a porn star, like being out in public? Uh, I just stayed at an amazing hotel in Miami for free oh. for a week, the Gathering Hotel. Oh, the Gathering! Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how was that? Amazing! Yeah. I love that hotel. It was the owner's birthday, so I got to like um, very cool hang out with him on his birthday. Um, and it was this really cool like Lisa Frank themed party. What fun. room did you have? Uh, I've had the fun. Have you been in the fun room? I've just seen it online. I've never been. I've had the fun room before. Mm-hmm. They asked me if I wanted it, but mm-hmm. I was there with my boyfriend. Yeah, and I wanted something like cozier. Yeah, because we we're gonna be there like. Let's a get week. A, that room used. Yeah, because yeah, the fun room is like it's a fun. sex room. Yeah, yeah. So you're like trying to watch Netflix at night, and there's like a, a sling. Sort yeah, of creaking. that's the party room that people use out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really cool though. So you've been there before. Yes. Yeah. So that's a he, that's a perk that I mm-hmm. love. Did you, did you meet the owner by visiting there? Is he a fan? So I, I saw on Twitter that, you know, they offer like discounted rates to oh. people who are in porn if they like promote the oh, hotel. Cool. So that was the first time I asked mm-hmm. him. And then um, we just like stayed Instagram friends. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, getting invited back to his birthday is pretty I clutch, know. right? It was yeah. super clutch. Yeah. I love him. I was like, yeah, I got bottle service one time in LA. He's like, I got invited to a Miami hotel. <laughs> but I was like, okay, all right. Yeah, all no, right. it's great. That's yeah. awesome. All right, well, you know, I'm doing things wrong. No, it's good. <laughs> I'm just trying to get on with Oprah, okay? No, it's good. <laughs> I think she's canceled right now. Is she? What happened? That. I, don't, I don't know. She <clears throat> owns all the land in Hawaii that didn't burn down. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, she owns everything. <clears throat> Okay, so have you ever been? You're. This is a hard question because you know you look like you can kill somebody if you wanted to. But have you ever been physically or verbally attacked because of what you do? Physically or verbally attacked? Yeah. No. Any gay slurs? No. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you don't give that much. The sweater's giving gay, but the rest, the rest is you know it doesn't sweater. really. Show. Yes. <laughs> what about the shoes? <laughs> These are kind of gay. They're kind of cute. Thanks. They're kind of cute. Um, do you get recognized in public? Yeah. How it, do you handle that? It, it's not in LA ever. Because really? that's like not the culture here. The culture is to just ignore if you recognize somebody here. Yeah. Which is nice, I'm sure, for oh. like Julia Roberts probably appreciates that. <laughs> but like <laughs> but like <laughs> but in, in London, I like I'll be just like walking through yeah. Soho or like mm-hmm. Piccadilly Circus and someone's like, Oh my god, it's it's Bo Butler and I'm like, No way. <laughs> That did not just happen. That's yeah. so cool. You're like, I'm not signing anything today. Yeah, I'll sign, I'll sign <laughs> everything they want. I'm like asking them about their day. Like, so. Sh- oh, that's so cool, though. Yeah. I love that. I love the humility. Do you think yeah. you'll keep that forever? I mean, you know, <laughs> like, maybe. I've learned that like money is in exposure, yeah. right? So yeah. if, if I don't want to do porn anymore, I still have to make sure I'm. Mm-hmm. My face is in the gay world, yeah. So 
hopefully yeah unless, until, she'll stay nice you're yeah. pretty nice from what i can tell thanks yeah thanks I don't try. quote me on that but I'm like, yeah no, I'm he's been really nice be careful who you ask yeah oh, <laughs> they don't <laughs> they can't sign with your company yeah <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so how do you uh, maintain intimacy in your like monogamous relationship is your is he also a performer no. or a haunted crater no no mm, no oh. he's uh he works uh he studied fashion, so he that's his like uh oh, his main thing. But that's then why he, he looks also, so chic in here. Yeah, well he yeah. no, he styled me. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So I actually started with like our my thing with him, messaging him about his outfits on Instagram. Because mm-hmm. I met him at a party uh when I was in a different relationship. So oh. I stayed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I like kept it, you know, yeah. um just about outfits and stuff like that and yeah then, sure yeah yeah that outfit would be great if you took it off yeah, yeah. Like, mm. <laughs> well it was like a bonus how hot he is on yeah. his clothes so wait so he's like out. a fashionista hot top uh in my personal oh. life he, he was a top when i met him yeah okay yeah now he's a bottom yeah so now you're a top yeah wow so you're, you're a top relationship bottom Porn. professionally yeah that's good that's a separation right there yeah i think it's because i have ibs oh uh, okay yeah. Well, that doesn't make sense because he's doing it professionally, but I felt like all that. That was half a joke, but. Yeah. No, I'm just well, like I'm not going to douche every day. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You're like, listen, if I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> no, for I, sure. It's like, you know, you go to a painter's house and it's not painted. Yeah. You know, I got it. If your boyfriend's a barber, he's not going to cut your fucking hair every day. I mean, he might. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's different. He might. <laughs> he might. Is your boyfriend a barber? No. Oh, okay. Oh, no. He doesn't. No, he's a housewife. Um, <laughs> he's not a barber, but he's a size queen. He's, well, I don't just know kidding. if he's a size queen. Just he didn't, kidding. We didn't, we didn't, I'm, I can't even say that. I'll get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> he's a wonderful man. Um, okay. So does your partner like watch all your videos? Has he ever come to them or any of that kind of stuff? So he says, and like, I think I'm like too like, um, I think I think this is like, because I think he's the hottest guy I've ever seen. Yeah. So when he told when he tells me this, I'm like, oh, he's just buttering me up. But he says he'd been jerking off to my porn for like months before he met me. Shut up. He was like gagged when I when I walked in. I just like beelined him at the party and I was like, you're like the most beautiful guy I've ever seen. What party were you at? A pre drinks party for roast in London. Yeah, which is like kind of like Pegasus Mm -hmm. here. And you chose him. You're like, I'm coming to him. Yeah, (laughs) that's so cute. I love that. Stuck to him all night. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Is the, was this like after you broke up or just like before? I was in an open relationship. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I was in London. They know what he was getting into. Yeah, I was in London alone for work, but uh, I was there for like three weeks and my connection with him was so strong that night that I was like, oh, I can't see him again while I'm here. Yeah. Or that's going to be like cheating. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. You, it sounds to me like you have a really good relationship with your mom and you know maybe your ender family but have you had suffered any losses of from your friends or from your family because of your OnlyFans work or your porn work no no <laughs> why the deep no. sigh no well I, I, i've <laughs> suffered i've suffered loss in my family but not because of porn okay yeah 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 but um no no i you know uh, it just actually made sense to everybody. Like mm-hmm. all of my friends, like my real, like lifelong friends yeah. were like, oh yeah, makes oh, sense. this makes sense. Yeah. You should have been doing this sooner. You should have been doing this. Well, they knew not that because <laughs> that was too crazy. Like, yeah. You need a really good head on your mm-hmm. shoulders to, yeah. to do this. Do you consider yourself like a really horny person? No. So have you ever had a situation where like you had like uncontrollably, like you just had to like jack off somewhere like in public, you're like, yes. get it out of your system. Yeah. What's the worst situation? Every time I'm on an airplane, really something about it gets you hard, right? Gets you fucking hard. I don't know if it's the pressure, Mm -hmm. like the change, or the little vibration under my butt the whole time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, (laughs) everything reminds me of him. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) yeah. Okay, so these are business and financial aspect questions. Mm -hmm. Um, These are up to you if you want to answer them. Okay. So, um, is only is OnlyFans and uh, porn production the only source of income you have, or do you have another job? No, it's my only source of income. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you say how much you make on OnlyFans? Six figures. Six figures. Yeah. What about when you started? Uh, it was like a it was a slow build. No, it wasn't a slow build. It was when I first started. I uh, 
I had another job. So that was my mm -hmm. primary income. Right. So for the first three or four months of my OnlyFans, yeah. I didn't cash out. Mm -hmm. So that just helped me create my savings. When did you hit a number? You're like, I'm done. Uh, it was more so I was turning down opportunities okay. for my shitty job that I hated. Like availability wise? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was like running out of PTO mm -hmm. for stuff. All of my videos were at nighttime. My yeah. OnlyFans videos, mm -hmm. which I, personally I don't think is cute. I think it yeah. reads as like drug. But it loves as light. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 So I was like, this isn't like. Mm hmm not your thing. Not my thing, no. Okay. So there wasn't like a like a number that you're like, this is enough for me to fall back on if things don't go right. Like a safety. If there was, I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because we think of like, there's a lot of people still entering the industry. And yeah. it's, it's super saturated. I agree. But yeah. people are still going to be doing it. Yeah. But like, when's the right time to like leave your job? I double think, down. I think when yeah like i think i was making exactly as much on my only fans as i was making at, at the time you don't know what you're what you made that year mm -hmm. you're just sort of seeing numbers come up yeah you know so you don't know like okay what's my like annual salary right now mm -hmm. because that's you how can project it yeah you can't yeah. project it um it's just like it's like a leap of faith thing mm -hmm. you, you have to ask yourself like am i willing to do this because it's, I think a lot of these guys, I'll, I'll hear them say like, oh, as soon as this isn't fun for me anymore, I'm not going to do it. Well, then you're not, it's not your career. Yep. Because why would any job always be fun? Yeah. You know? So it's a matter of like, I was ready to be, mm -hmm. to work in porn for the rest of my life. I yeah. had made a conscious decision. Yeah. I was like, unless you have like a clear like plan for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's like a temporary thing and you're just going to do this for this long and save this amount of money. I made a conscious career change. Yeah. Yeah. You're know, like, I'm a shark tank. I need this much money to invest. I'm gonna right. Give, I'm, I'm going to fuck it out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to totally. get it. Right. Okay, so that's awesome. So um, I, if this doesn't apply to you, that's fine. Just answer it as if it was someone else. But why charge a monthly subscription um, while also charging additional for every scene? And if this isn't for you, like, why do others do it? You know, it was never for me. Mm -hmm. um, I came into this thinking that OnlyFans meant I had to be my own studio. So produce a certain amount of updates of full sex scenes twice, once a week, whatever. Um, we went the wrong, we went the wrong route. <laughs> <laughs> and that's only only like the gay porn boys did that and mm -hmm. we taught other new people coming in to do that because i'll tell you everybody who's doing it the other way is making twice as much as all of us which is the other way the other way is creating a subscription price to see the basics mm -hmm. and the opportunity to purchase things at higher tiers yep. To get everybody. And they're making yeah. the most money, unfortunately. Yeah. And so for me... Oh, no, go them. Yeah, well, f but that's, <laughs> that ship has sailed for me because... You can't with, go back. With my studio work, you can find yeah tons of full-length videos of me on Pornhub. Right. And so I need to be producing new things with new people pretty regularly. Uh, so you kind of like have to figure out, all right, well, what would people buy? Yeah, yeah. You know? And so for me, it will be videos with my boyfriend. Do you do videos with your boyfriend? We're going to start. Or that's the next thing? Yeah, we're going to start. Oh, no. oh, you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is he, has he done anything like that before? We already have a nice little stockpile. Oh, really? In like he's going to show face and everything? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's his screen name going to be? Uh, so his, <clears throat> what is it? It's Big Hairy Mommy Milkers, or is it? Big Hairy Mommy Milkers. I think it's Hairy Mommy Milkers. Hairy Mommy Milkers. Because he has like yeah. huge yeah. pecs, like crazy uh, heavy pecs. Yeah. It's just like. And you're topping? Uh, or you're bottoming? We're, we're flipping. flipping. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're flipping. So some different content for sure for yes. people to check it out. That's going to be awesome. Yes, yeah. yeah. Because with him, yeah. he doesn't want to be a porn star. He doesn't want to do any of that. Yeah. So he's going to have his OnlyFans. He's going to have a couple nudes. Mm -hmm. Here and there, posted on a weekly or by. He's gonna blow the fuck up, though. I hope Imagine. so. Yeah, I really do. He's gorgeous. Yeah. He, yeah. So then, you know, I'm not gonna put his stuff out unless it's behind several paywalls. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So he has like an OnlyFans because you have to tag the other yes. person, right? 
So you're probably going to be selling it on yours. Yeah, he's going to have his yeah. OnlyFans Got too. It, yeah. Um, where he like, because mm-hmm. nobody's ever seen him naked, so yeah. he's going to post like pics of him naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. You're like, he's not um, in porn yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. You got yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. How long have you guys been together? About nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Awesome. You guys already thinking about like getting like married and kids and all that stuff? Do you yeah. want kids? I don't want kids. Yeah, me either. No, I don't want kids. Oh, yeah. No, but he, he lives in London, so we really have to like, we've really had to think about like, start planning oh, that's things why you travel back and forth. Oh, yeah it's all doesn't it make sense now yeah <laughs> yeah so i pay for this apartment here but yeah. i'm always in london okay. so we have to like really start thinking and planning now long term mm-hmm. and yeah marriage is a part of those talks okay. well i'm inviting myself to visit um, better i think that's so cool that's awesome that makes more way more sense now i was like what yeah. is he talking about yeah that's so cool i'm very happy for you guys um, we'll, we'll be looking out for it oh thanks yeah Okay, so what are, what are your long term financial goals? Like, how do you think you would continue to create content? Uh, obviously, we talked about you know bringing your boyfriend in. That's pretty cool. What's your plans after that? Um, so I am dabbling with producing and directing. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> part of my conscious decision to be in the porn industry has been like I don't want to just be a model forever. Yeah. You know, I want to have like multiple irons in the fire, and mm-hmm. I want to like stay active in the the mainstream porn Mm -hmm. gay porn industry yeah yeah so do you think it's going to continue to grow yeah i hope so i mean i know a lot of people that make great livings off Mm -hmm. of producing and directing and you know um as we've learned from like people like austin wolf like if you're hot people are going to keep buying your porn for over 10 years you know what i mean so to do both to be able to model direct act um, and then just have all these different uh, revenue streams is like really yeah. the goal. We've been hearing Austin's name all day. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Because of this Puerto Vallarta thing? I, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Maybe. He's just so well known, honestly. Yeah. I was just in New York and I missed him. But I yeah. Like, mm. but I, I was in Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. I can't ever get around you guys. Um, <laughs> so wait, so as you're like, you're sticking for your financial future, like, do you, do you have a financial um, advisor, like investing money from you or like, how do you have like controlling like your your wealth now to make sure like there's the dependency so i'm starting all of that Mm -hmm. um like my focus almost um obsessively has been just growing my name Mm -hmm. for the last few years um so now i'm at a point where uh, I I want to get into like all right, what's my five year financial plan? Like, yeah, okay, I've I've established myself in this new industry in this new career. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so no, that's all starting. Like, yeah. this is gonna sound stupid, but I just started accruing airplane miles, even though I've been traveling the world for X amount of time. Like, better late than never. Yeah, it's better late than never. Yeah. But my mind was just so like hyper focused on. Um, yeah, it's hard not to beat yourself up over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Um, wh- what's one thing that up to this point in your life that you'd want to be recognized and remembered for? What do you mean? What do you want to like recognize? What do you want people to like when they think about you? Like, what do you want to be remembered as? And this could be outside of the industry, just as a person, as an individual. How do you want people to like to defer to you? Well, it would be nice to be thought of as one of those like, do you know like those pictures of those retro porn stars that like always come up, yeah, you know, and just like, you know, we weren't jerking off to them, so we don't really know who they are, but we would like recognize their face anywhere. Mm-hmm. But people are like, oh, that was so-and-so. Like he was an iconic Falcon guy yeah. from 19 whatever to 19 whatever. And it's yeah. like, oh, cool. Hell yeah. yeah. Went producer. Yeah. yeah right. And you're right. And then yeah. nobody really knows that I'm like now – you know, gray hair, overweight with poodles in Palm Springs producing porn. You know, they're like, whatever happened to that guy? You went through for the poodles, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's my vision of myself. Yeah, like Liberace <laughs> I love towards that. the end. Very Gucci. <clears throat> yeah. Um, what's, the, what's the oldest uh, you would perform with and what's the youngest over legal age? I mean, I'm not really ageist. Yeah. Like um, my buddy uh, Drake Vaughn, he has like this fucking massive dick. Yeah. He's also like the nicest guy ever. <laughs> he's like 20. 
So I was getting what? fucked by this donkey dick. Yeah. And I look up and it's the face of a boy. And I'm like, this is odd. You know, like, yeah. this is interesting. Like, I don't mm. think, I never thought I would look up and see a face yeah. that young. Yeah. Do you ever tell them, like, don't talk to me? You know? Right. <laughs> don't speak. No, I mean, no. You do so, your thing. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't really, it would just sort of be like, do I think this will make a good scene? Yeah, that's cool. So, what's your, we said like your body type preference. Your, your so your partner is your body type preference. What would yeah. that be? How do you identify that? I mean, I like, I have like a bunch of different types. Yeah. Like, he's he stood out to me. I, before I'd even seen his body, just because he has like this striking like runway model face. Yeah. And I just like had never seen somebody that looked like him. He's um, Moroccan, mm -hmm. so he has these like insanely big brown eyes with mm -hmm. his eyebrows. And so yeah, but like he's really plugging his guy. Oh, yeah. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> but then his uh, his body is amazing. It's mm -hmm. fucking incredible, you know. But then I'll follow guys on Instagram like with like you know like there's this straight guy with a mullet. Yeah, and he has just a fat ass. Yeah, and like just like these thick legs and he's just little like yeah hobbit looking <laughs> so i have like tons of different types what about twinks twinks are hot yeah yeah i can get down with that okay i can get down with most that. guys say is no twinks i love twinks i i just like i like a little bit of body hair like yeah. i'm not gonna like a twink with a cute little furry butt okay yeah would be like next level You're about it yeah but does your agency have any twinks or is it like all your build uh, muscular, you like, mean the but, studio? But your studio yeah. so they used to have a ton of exclusives I, it's just me and drew valentino now okay um but they do have several brands under their brand mm -hmm. that gear more towards twinkie types Got it. like um i wouldn't consider dean young a twink mm -hmm. but he's more of like a twunk yeah and yeah he's he's part of the team yeah yeah we love a good twunk mm -hmm. okay so we have one last one but before i go to this one do you have anything that you'd like to share or uh, any insights from you know working in OnlyFans or production that you think people should know about? It's a hard question, right? Yeah. You have something insightful to share with the world. This is your one chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'd say like what I've learned. Probably the the best thing I've learned is to like not take things personal. Yeah. So like when you start out and there'll be like a big content creator and it seems like they just don't want to work with you. Um, then like years later when you're in their position, you just realize, Oh, I'm just fried. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I'm just tired. Yeah. And like it is not, it's not personal. I think this person is so hot. I don't give a fuck about their following because it would be such a good video, whatever. But it's just like, I don't have time right now. Babe. Yeah. But I, but I, when I started out, I was like gutted, but you, will put yourself in positions where you're that person so many times, or you're that person that cancels last minute. Yeah. You know, because oh, you no. because you don't feel good. Yeah. When that happens to me before, it was like, what are you joking? But then after like a year and a half you being in this, there's some days you wake up, you prep, you get ready, and you just don't have it in you. Yeah. It's just not there. Yeah. Because it's a big thing having sex on camera. Um, oh, yeah. So I just say like go easy on yourself, mm -hmm. go easy on other people, and don't take things so personal. That like, guy's go easy. On yeah, the, the bottom says go easy on. Him. Well, yes, go. <laughs> and easy. then he says harder. Yeah. No, <laughs> go easy on the bottom. It's we have a long day ahead of us. <laughs> so our, our last question as we close here is: outside of content creation, who in your life has had the most influence on you? My mom. Your mom. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like so much of my personality is my mom's personality on a learned level and on just like a biological level. Mm -hmm. Like we're like quick to temper in the same ways, but we're like, yeah. So my mom is definitely the person that I've like watched. Yeah. Well, yeah. We love that. Yeah. We love you, mom. Love you, mom. Love you, mom. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you so much hey. for coming out. I, it's been so great to meet you. Yeah, it was it's great. So, so nice. It was fun. Right, thank you. Bye. Cute. Very cute. Yeah.